for the first time in its 76 year history honorable president of india visited nrra katak भारतीय कृषि अनुसंधान परिषद तथा देश के कृषक समुदाय की ओर से मैं भारत के माननीय राष्ट्रपति जी का हार्दिक स्वागत अभिनंदन एवं वंदन करता हूं। वी आर प्रिविलेज टू होस्ट द सेकंड इंडियन राइस कांग्रेस हियर इन द हिस्टोरिक सिटी ऑफ कटक टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ पानी कल्टिवेशन बाई अवर अन्नदाता मुझे कहते हुए प्रसन्नता है कि हमारे किसानों के परिश्रम ने वैज्ञानिकों के अनुसंधान ने कृषि के क्षेत्र में बहुत प्रगति की है कि कुपोषण की समस्या को दूर करने के लिए पौष्टिकता खान पान में बढ़ाने के लिए बायोफाइड फोर्टिफाइड चावल की किस्मों को हमें पैदा करना चाहिए आई ने उस दिशा में भी कदम बढ़ाए हैं और सी आर तीन सौ दस तीन सौ ग्यारह तीन सौ पंद्रह धान की किस्में पैदा की हैं और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में अनेक विचार विमर्श होंगे आने वाले कल का रोड मैप बनेगा और जो निष्कर्ष आएंगे वो उद्देश्य की पूर्ति में सहायक होंगे मैं इस कॉन्फ्रेंस की सफलता के लिए अपनी ओर से बहुत शुभकामनाएँ देता हूँ मैनी चैलेंजेज ऑफ ड्रॉट रजिस्टेंट एंड हाई varieties of uh, rice also you see so i offer my ovations uh, to the scientists who are present over here today basically to the yaj in all of you you see which uh, speaks that performing the prescribed duty is perfection we are exporting and the time is gradually coming you see we will feed the whole of the world also you see more than 350 delegates from india and abroad participated in the deliberation during the congress honorable president addressed the delegates and appreciated rice scientists for their contribution in achieving food security of the country namaskar governor of orissa professor ganeshi lal ji union minister for agriculture and farmers welfare and president of icar society Sri Narendra Singh Tomar ji Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Empowerment Government of Odisha Sri Ranindra Pratap Swain ji Secretary DARE and Director General ICAR Dr Himanshu Pathak ji President Association of Rice Research Workers Dr Pawan Kumar Agarwal ji Director ICR National Rice Research Institute, Dr. Amresh Kumar Nayak ji. Rice is rightly called the grain of life. The National Rice Research Institute was established in 1946, soon after the Great Bengal famine and just before the we own independence. In those days, we were dependent on imports to meet our food requirements and often the nation lived what was called a sheep to mouth existence. If the nation could overcome that dependency and has become the largest exporter, a lot of credit goes to the NRRI. <laughs> the institute had contributed immensely to India's food security and also to enhancing farmers' lives. For more than 75 years now, the NRRI has been working in the areas of basics, applied and adaptive research related to paddy, while also imparting training to the various stakeholders. NRRI scientists are actively seeking solutions by collecting, identifying, and characterizing unique rice genplasm. ICR, NRRI has developed India's first high-protein rice called CR Dhan 310. 
which will help us in improving the country's overall nutrition profile. I am glad to learn that NRRI has also released a high zinc rice variety called CR Dhan 315315. I congratulate the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, the National Rice Research Institute, the Association of Rice Research Workers, and other co-organizers for organizing the Second Indian Rice Congress. I wish the Second Indian Rice Congress a grand success. Several recommendations have come out from the Congress which have been shared with the stakeholders. One of the recommendations is that there is a substantial regional gap in yield and input use in the country. Mission mode program to enhance average yield in those regions needs to be initiated through ecology specific varieties and natural resource management technology. Other recommendation is that India earlier lagged behind in the industrial evolution and other scientific and technological advancement. Policy should now be directed to adapt and promote innovation in different cutting edge technologies such as genome editing, precision agriculture and enhance public-private partnership ensuring food and nutrition security for profitability of the farmer. We thank all the organizers and collaborators for successfully organizing Second Indian Rice Congress.